out October 1st. We have volume two in the Paramount Scares collection. I loved volume one and uh, volume two seems to be packing a lot of heat as well. I absolutely love how Paramount is putting out boutique label level releases. I love how a major studio is doing that. But let's waste no more time and start cracking the sucker open, huh? Let's take a look at the movies inside and everything else that this box set has to offer. First thing, once you open it, you get this amazing Fangoria magazine. Paramount Scares on the back here. I wish this was green, kind of like the box is and the Paramount Scares logo is. Uh, little, little nitpicks. I'm not a big Fangoria guy, but it's very cool to have this in these sets and just to have a little extra horror love in this box set. I know that there's a big collector's uh, mindset for Fangoria. There's a big uh, market for this in the horror community specifically. Next up, we have a poster, and this poster is absolutely amazing. Let's take a closer look at this. Yes, artist Mexifunk does an amazing, amazing job meshing all four of these franchises that are inside of this box set. Dear Lord, is this a thing of beauty? I don't really hang up a lot of these posters that come with these releases, but this is one that I do want to find a spot in for my collection. But before I do that, I'm going to fold it open and continue with the unboxing. Let's slide the sucker this way. We have a Paramount Scares enamel pin. This time it is green and volume one, it was red. I like both of them. I think this logo is absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's a lot of embossing on this pin. I love me some embossing on my steel book. So having it on an enamel pin as well is also very good. This also comes with a whole bunch of patches. Let's see if I can open this sucker up and showcase off exactly what these patches have to offer. Here is breakdown with the Paramount Scares on the license plate. Very, very cool. Camp Crystal Lake for Friday the 13th Part 2. I would have loved to see Baghead Jason instead of this, but again, being nitpicky. Here is Orphan First Kill, and I love this franchise. I'm hoping it gets a third installment very soon. And here's World War Z. Very, very cool Z. I'm not sure what way the Z is supposed to go, but this is very striking. Again, I don't really do a lot with um, enamel patches, or enamel patches, Jesus, just patches. But uh, if you do, those are cool looking for sure. Speaking of cool looking, we also have this very, very cool looking sticker. It's like a bubble material that's in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I do feel like I need to hang this up somewhere, but before or until I figure out what I'm going to do with it, it's going to stay right there. But let's get to the thing. The reason why we bought this is because of the movies inside. First off, one of the main reasons why people will probably pick this release up Friday the 13th part two. I love the slip covers on here. I love how there's some metallic sheen to it. Excuse me. Uh, the image is fine. It, it, it's kind of bare bones, but it's cool that it's there. Here is Friday the 13th Part 2 in glorious 4K. Very nice to see it. I love me some Baghead Jason a lot. I love me the Pamela Voorhees vibes that are in here. Uh, now, if I grab my knife here to slice the sucker open, we can see what the discs look like on this release as well. Here we go. Open it up. Throw trash to the side. And on here, we just have Friday the 13th Part 2 on Blu-ray and on 4K. Looks like all the special features are over here on the Blu-ray. Speaking of special features, uh, right here, Inside Crystal Lake Memories, Friday's Legacy Horror Conventions. That's cool. Lost Tapes uh, from Camp Blood Part 2, Jason Forever, and the theatrical trailer. Let's slide this sucker back in its hidey hole and go to the next movie, which looks like it is World War Z... I have never seen World War Z. I've heard uh, mixed things on it, mixed to negative things on it. Mother Nature is a serial killer. No one's better or more creative. All right. <laughs> that, that, that is indeed a quote. On the inside here, we do have the classic poster artwork. And it also comes with the unrated cut with intense footage not shown in theaters. Opening it up here. I don't know if that edition is on the 4K or not. I see the feature film and the unrated version are on the Blu-ray. Not sure, again, if it's on the 4K disc or not, but at least there are two different cuts to choose from in this release. Next up, we have Orphan First Kill. If I can get it out, my goodness. There we go. Orphan First Kill. I, out of all of the covers, I really like this one. I think it's doing a lot of heavy lifting for this movie. What are my plans, mommy? Orphan First Kill. I also love how on every single one there's the Paramount Scares logo. 
that is on the side of the slip cover. It's just the little things that make me happy about releases like this. Orphan first kill. There's the front. There is the back there. I don't see a lot of uh, special features on this release, which is kind of a bummer. But again, we will slice her open and reveal what the discs look like. I'm assuming since it's Paramount, it'll be more of the blue and black aesthetic that we've seen prior, but we might as well look. Orphan first kill, orphan first kill. I really wish that Paramount would put a little bit more effort into their disc artwork. Sony does, Disney does, and I think it just adds to the elevation factor in physical media. And last but not least, we have Breakdown. I really like this image that they have on the slipcover here as well. This is a movie that um, was kind of polarizing with this release when it got announced, because uh, people really didn't think that it was very scary, I guess. It's more of a thriller than it is a horror movie. I'm still very excited to see this movie. I've heard nothing but great things about it. If I can open this part up, maybe I need to slice it again. Ooh. There we go. If you have seen Breakdown, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Open this sucker up right here. A tense, beautifully crafted edge of your seat thriller. A lot of special features on here too. Filmmaker Focus, love to see it. A lot of interviews on here as well. Very excited to watch Breakdown. All the special features look like they are on the Blu-ray disc again, but just a nice, nice uh, little, little set here. So all in all, I am a big fan of the Paramount Scares line. I wish that more major movie studios would go and give us boutique level quality releases like we are getting with these. Volume two, in my opinion, is a big step up over volume one. And volume one, I absolutely loved as well. So if they continue the trend to just kind of stair step up, I cannot wait to see what volume three has in store. I absolutely love that on volume two, they decided to go with a poster and they decided to go with the iron on patches. I'm not a big patch guy, but the patches outdo the stickers in my opinion. I did not like the stickers at all. We don't get a fifth movie in volume two set, which I think is fine. We get a poster, a poster that nine times out of 10, I do not care about the posters that are included in these physical media big box sets. But this one's different. This one has some style to it. I am very biased with Mexi Funk. I love the majority of the artwork he puts out. And uh, it, it's nice not to just have the original poster art that's on the slip cover of all of these anyway. So why would we even need something like that again? Give me originality in the artwork. I will love that 10 times out of 10. I'm an enamel pin guy. So having the same logo with different colors but I love the Paramount Scares logo so, so much. I'm really happy I have that big, big sticker. It's like a domed sticker, I want to say, is their terminology for it. I love that. I just need to find a great place to put it. But overall, if you don't have these in your collection, I think it's absolutely worth it. I love keeping the boxes to these, but the movies themselves, I keep them back here in the collection. I did that with volume one. I'm going to do that. These are upside down. With volume two as well just because they look so sharp i think i had them upside down again or upside <laughs> okay this is definitely the right way to showcase them off to you and I, I just like the way that this looks on a shelf i think this stands out i love how they have the paramount scares on the spine i'm just in love with this i would love to see a paramount laughs line i would love to see a paramount chills line i'd love to see something with drama um, I don't know, a family fun edition. That one probably wouldn't sell that well, but I would love to just see the different genres kind of break up and continue to expand and expand. I know Lionsgate currently has like a Lionsgate action, you or not Instagram feed. Um, I'm hoping that these are selling well for Paramount because if they are, I could see a lot more major studios hopping on board. The artwork on this box is better than Volume 1, 2. Volume 1 was just a little, let, let's see how this thing sells and maybe we can put more time and effort into the artwork on stuff like this. And there's always room to improve. I love this line. I, I gushed about it when Volume 1 came out. I'm even more dead set on seeing what Volume 3, Volume 4 of Paramount Scares has to offer. I'm very excited about this, but I want to know in the comments what your thoughts are on the Paramount Scares line. The price point is pretty dang good as well. 
for the four 4K movies you get and all of the extras included, if you are a fan of the majority of these movies, I would say I'm very excited about Friday the 13th Part 2. Cannot wait to watch that sucker in glorious 4K. Breaktown is a movie I know nothing about, but I've heard enough good things about it that this was a great addition to add into this set. I know it's not pure horror, and if they do make a, like a thriller edition of these box sets, that could have been a better installment there, but I don't need just full-fledged horror in my movie. If there's some horror elements, that's okay with me. Orphan First Kill, they Paramount released a Blu-ray version of that, and that's where it kind of stayed dormant. Now, if they do that with newer movies in the future, especially horror movies, I would suspect that the 4K would probably in a different new edition of the Paramount Scares line. And World War Z, to me, feels like the most filler, filler title. They've already released a 4K version of this movie. And uh, I know it has zombies in it, but it's still, that's more, to me, that feels more action than it does horror, just like with Breakdown. Just like, just like with Breakdown, it's more of a thriller than it is a horror. Um, but I don't know, I love this set so much. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, I'll see ya. Toodles, everybody, and congratulations for making it to the after credit scene of my Paramount Scares unboxing. I did a new unboxing thing. I, I had like a little lanyard strip that I had my phone on this time around to kind of do the see the two hands while I'm unboxing. Um, I want to know what you thought of the way that that looked. I did not have a great setup for it. It was very last minute me deciding to do it that way. But expect more unboxing videos from me in the future that I can actually like go and use both hands and uh, I just gotta figure out a better way to kind of uh, lay it out for all of you out there. But my question for you today is, I love Paramount Scares. I hope that two sells well for them, well enough to, for them to include or to make a volume three. My, my question to you is what movies would you want to see in a Paramount Scares Volume 3 box set. I have not even attempted to think about looking at stuff like that. I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Uh, Friday the 13th has my brain kind of going with more of the uh, um, IP horrors. Like I know Orphan was in here. I would love to see the first Orphan on 4K, but Scream Factory got a hold of that. that that's where you gotta know a lot more about like what IPs, what titles are at what boutique label because you won't be able to line them up for this service. Just let me know what movies you'd like to see. Maybe first to 4K as well. What movies are that are not on 4K horror movie wise that you would like to see get the Paramount Scares treatment with the nice slip covers. Um, yeah, very, very curious to know. But until next time, I have to go and leave you with Friday the 13th Part two, I wish I had Bagman Jason to show off to you. He's like not on any of this, which is very, very unfortunate, but uh, you never know when Mr. Jason Voorhees is gonna strike.